Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Ilya. I work at JetBrains in ReSharp C++ team. Uh, and today I wanted to share some thoughts and ideas uh, that we had in mind uh, for the last five years uh, while we were developing ReSharp C++. If you don't know what ReSharp C++ is, you can think of it as a C++ IDE. Uh, so, compiler, frontends, and IDEs seem very similar. Uh, they, both, they both do the same thing, right? They parse C++ code and try to make sense of it. Uh, so it's tempting to reuse an existing compiler frontend like Clang uh, in an IDE. Uh, that's certainly possible, uh, but you have to consider that compilers and IDEs uh, have different design goals. Uh, here are just a few differences that come to mind. Firstly, uh, compilers mostly run on correct code and uh, are not generally required to do sophisticated error recovery. IDEs, on the other hand, uh, run on broken code all the time and good error recovery is crucial for them. Secondly, Compilers need to store fewer source locations uh, than IDEs because IDEs do a lot of code transformations. But compilers, they usually just need some information to show you a compiler error uh, and uh, their front ends may not be designed to store the whole information that you would need in an IDE. Certainly, compilers work on a single translation unit, but IDEs are often aware of the whole project. For example, ReSharp C++ will reuse a result of parsing the header file between different translation units and your compiler front end that you use inside an IDE should be prepared to handle that. Uh, when we looked at Clang back in the days when we started, we couldn't find a way to easily implement what we had in mind on top of it. So we rolled out, uh, rolled out our own implementation of the C++ front end. And uh, today I'm going to show you a few features uh, which are not readily available in Clang or in other front ends out there, but uh, that we have implemented. Uh, so, the first one uh, comes from this observation. Compilers resolve the names all the time as soon as they encounter them. And uh, this work is often redundant for an IDE. Uh, just imagine how much stuff has been resolved in, s in this example uh, when you just include iostream header in a hello world application. You only ever asked for three things, std namespace, cout global variable, and uh, the stream insertion operator but there's a whole bunch of stuff that was resolved and you didn't want it. Uh, so we tried to defer resolve of names and resolve them only uh, when they're actually needed. And this is what other IDEs do for languages like C-sharp and Java. Uh, but for C++, it turned out that implementing it is non-trivial because in C++, resolve can depend on uh, the state of your global environment. And when you change something inside it, you actually have to provide a view to the previous states of the environment for the resolve to work correctly. Uh, another thing that we did uh, is we implemented an optimization for uh, well-formed global includes. Well-formed in the following sense. Uh, most of the includes are uh, situated in the top level scope and the included tokens are parsed into a bunch of well-formed declarations. Uh, so in this typical, in this typical case, uh, we will parse the header file only for the first time, and then we will reuse the result of parsing the header file, the syntax tree that we uh, came up with, uh, between different translation units. And this will save the time to pre-process and uh, parse the file on each and every repeated include of the same file. And uh, it turns out to be it turns out to be a significant performance win for us. Uh, let's talk about incremental updates for. Uh, for a while. So uh, what do you do if uh, there's a change uh, in the text of your, uh, uh, when the user changes uh, some text inside a function? Uh, what we can do is we can just parse the, uh, the function body and then re replace the old function body with the new one. And uh, then reparse is very fast. And we also did this uh, optimization when a global change happens. So when a global change happens uh, in a typical C++ file, uh, you can just reparse the whole file, but uh, you should notice that most of the time in a typical situation is spent on processing the uh, includes, uh, the include preamble rather than parsing the rest of the file. So what we do is after parsing the preamble, we lock all the modifications uh, that are done to our data structures after the includes. And when reparse is required, we just roll back those lost modifications and parse onto the rest of the file. 
And this way, this will be much faster than processing the whole file because we actually do the work uh, which are proportional to the size of the current file rather than uh, the size of the included files. Uh, so let me conclude. ReSharper C++ has its own implementation of a C++ front end, and we, uh, we have done some, some optimizations on top of it, uh, but still not fast enough. It's running under managed runtime, and we have a very slow preprocessor, but we're working on improving it. Thanks. Uh, that's all I have.